Good evening, everybody. Hell's Unicorn here again, and I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Tennessee's Son of Liberty. Uh, his actual ID name is T.S. Son of Liberty, and I have a link to his channel in the description. I just happened upon this guy's channel uh, just today, even though he's been on here for about two years now. And he has done an absolutely excellent job in taking the piss out of the Herman Cain legend, as it were, that developed soon after the aftermath of the first South Carolina Republican primary debate. We need more of this, is all I'm going to say. We need to get Mr. Cain where it hurts, because this guy looks like he's basically playing defense for the system while trying to undercut Ron Paul's support within the Tea Party movement and the broader liberty movement, and it needs to be stopped. Mr. Cain has proven himself to be very adept at sound bites, but an utter disaster when faced with a tough interviewer, as contrasted with Ron Paul. However, unfortunately, due to the setup of the debates, Mr. Cain's system works very well because this is usually where people fish for sound bites at debates. So since most people don't watch the interviews, but a lot of people watch the debates, that's where this fight has to be won. And it has to be won through the spreading of information. And these three videos, which are at the top of the list on Tennessee Son of Liberty's channel, are a good place to start. Let's just review some of the major problems that I have with Herman Cain. The first and most obvious one is that he's a soundbite maestro, got very little substance. And one area in particular where that substance is definitely lacking is this notion about his so-called plan for Afghanistan. He has come forth and admitted that he has no plan whatsoever. He doesn't even have a view one way or the other as to whether or not we should be there or be out of there which is comical. But what is even more comical is the notion that he tells us is that we have to elect him first so he can formulate a plan. That sounds a lot like Nancy Pelosi saying we have to vote for the bill so that we can know what's in it. And indeed, Tennessee's Son of Liberty makes this exact same point in one of his own videos. His economic uh, recovery plan consists of chopping off domestic benefits in order to pay down debt to our creditors. No mention whatsoever about scaling back our foreign policy and paying back money that way, which would be the more civilized route to go. Why should we cut off people that are dependent on programs, cold turkey, when we can simply knock off blowing shit up halfway across the globe? Makes a lot more sense to me, but I don't think Herman Cain is in the business of making sense when he talks or when he thinks for that matter. And then also, it turns out that Mr. Herman Cain was a big supporter of the TARP bailouts when they were first passed. He's since modified his position in order to fit in with the current tenor of the political discourse, which is bailouts bad, balanced budgets good. It is my personal belief that Herman Cain, as a former alleged former supporter of the bailouts and a former chairman of the of a Federal Reserve branch has no damn intention whatsoever in balancing the budget. It's all talk. The guy's an empty suit and quite frankly he doesn't have what it takes. I want a real debate between real candidates and we have real candidates already. We have Ron Paul, a committed libertarian paleoconservative. We have Gary Johnson, a straight-line libertarian with socially moderate views. We have a moderate conservative Republican and former Governor Palente, and we have an ultra-conservative anti-libertarian authoritarian in good old uh, former Senator of Pennsylvania Rick Santorum. And, you know, you can throw a few more faces in. You can throw in uh, Michelle Bachman if you want a Fox ultra-conservative uh, ultra representative of the Fox 2009 Tea Party as a stand-in for Sarah Palin. Definitely not going to vote for her. Or we can get pull in yet another stupid moderate establishment candidate like John McCain, which apparently we're not going to be getting in the case of the former Indiana 
governor whose name I cannot really recall at the moment and I don't really care to, but evidently he is not running. And thank goodness for that. They're looking at another person, uh, what was his name, Huntsgood or something, I forget his name also, who's a former ambassador. Quite frankly, whenever the establishment touts a candidate, usually you end up getting a mealy-mouthed moron like John McCain, somebody who pretends of being a moderate and a, someone who goes back and forth between the various sides of a ultimately one-sided debate. Not interested in it. So anyway, feel free to let me know what you think about this, and definitely visit Tennessee's Son of Liberty's channel. He's got some really good content on here. Until next time, with prudence to myself and benevolence to all of you, good evening.